and essential symptoms of early cancer, cancer cells is the pres uh, presence of cancer cells in your blood. To detect it, you can actually give a timely cancer diagnosis uh, during your uh, regular uh, body check. So that's why you will have a, a, a real-time treatment. Well, uh, indeed, if, uh, however, right now the current method requires a massive amount of chemicals to do so, so it makes it impractical. Try to imagine it sounds like a human's. So right now, the, this method is like making name badges for everyone on this earth. So who wears it is the cancer cells. That's why you seek for it. And this accurate method is costly. So that motivates me to find another approach that is cost effective. Names are not the only thing for human recognition. Just like now, you look at my face, not my name badges to recognize me. So our face, our eyes, nose, and skin tell us who we are, and also our races. So that's why there is a face image on your ID card to recognize yourself besides your name. So then I start to imagine imaging could be a cost-effective way to find the cancer cells in the blood. If cells have their own faces, just like humans. So do they? Through my research, now I can tell you confidently, yes, they do. In my research, I developed an advanced imaging technique called face imaging to capture the cell face. It shoots the cells from multiple angles to capture their face. And just like human faces, what it gives you is unique features for different species of cells. For instance, two types of blood cancer cells and three types of breast cancer cells as can be uh, successfully distinguished from the normal with an accuracy over 90%. This is as accurate as the current method even now without any chemicals. And combining with our world's fastest camera invented in our lab, this can be done within an hour. But we all know, not just the speed and also the accuracies you and I concerned most, but also the reliability. So I reviewed this method multiple times and shown that its high accuracy is not just by luck, but actually it can be robustly reproduced. And to further convince ourselves, patients and doctors that this method can jump out of the laboratory. I apply this face imaging on mouse models, the mouse with human cancer. And it might sound too good to be true. Once again, it successfully detects the cancer cells in the mouse blood. A timely, accurate, and cost-effective cancer diagnosis is not far away from us now. With this face imaging, we can actually get it and will open a new face for tomorrow's cancer diagnosis. Thank you.